survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on the device and draw energy from that place. How would it be a great time to harness that energy? So now where does it come from? The shoulder of Orion, deep beneath the surface of the Pacific, a small town. Streams are born. Yes. Woo. That's right. This is your shot, and you're not going to miss it. You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on cooking. What is the sound of success? Sizzling. That's wrong! Shit. Would have been bubbling because the boiling water. Don't make me get my spray bottle. Is this the end? Yep. Game over? No! Try again. Not gaming over. Not giving up just yet. How long, how far is it going to put me behind? Don't tell me I start over. Oh, cafeteria lights dim, blah, 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 blah. Demand they stop wasting everyone's time. Blah, 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 but how would you have gotten that the first school without knowing that? <laughs> Winner gets to rub my fur belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. You wouldn't need seasoned chicken before you cook it. You don't know the you know, Colonel Sun dress but you have an idea. Eleven! I know that one. Tail wagging intensifies. Now I got some basic steps. Elevate your craft. Gratitude. Duh. That's right. Okay, gratitude is right. You must you must never take this art. That's right. You must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you. But naturally, it's better. Uh, we came from a small town where dreams are born. That's right. Aroo! Now try to shut out the noise in the room. Parks and current be seen. What is the sound of success? Sizzling, bubbling. Bubbling. That's wrong! Don't make me get a spray bottle. Next question. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, big papa. He's actually cheering you on. Which would you be awesome, except knowing he's watching me makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoons of grades would it take to traditional Victorian bathing? Die! What were you thinking? Get your mind back into the competition. I was trying to desert an idol then only one dessert cookbook. Which do you take? What a hunk. <laughs> Look at that. I know, right? You know what? Shouldn't you be focused on a challenge? You're falling behind. You and Colonel riding together in the gondola of Atlanta on the beach. I didn't even get to read those. What does that have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Woof, woof. You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station, Ashley has already begun plating elements of her dish. It's colorful and complex. To make up time, you toss your biscuit dough into the stand mixer. As you do, the grout casps. Uh, yikes! Zzz, but I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilized in the kitchen. Oh shit! I didn't mean to click. Where? You might have. You might not have any hands, but Big Papa does, and a good chef needs to needs to be touching the dough to make sure it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. Er. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. Ouch! That's how you lose a finger. Big Papa, no! But you're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand with the rest of the match. Shit! Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. What you often find is that- oh. What you often find is that AC way can turn out much, much more difficult. Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. The battle is over. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Ah, uh, that's too bad. And here is with a completed dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me a winner by default. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Big Papa's injury. 
You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I script straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights. Taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. I was going to ask Big Papa to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. Her stockings back chicken legs on them. It's in. Her stockings have chicken legs on them? Do they really? I can't see it. Is this it? <laughs> Colonel Sanders pulls the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients within. That looks really good, actually. Inside, you'll find a chopped delicate fried cheese croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry. I don't know that word. Jalele. Jale. Colonel Sanders, or Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger in the chocolate sauce. Hmm. Simplicity. Oh. Simplicity is not your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you! <laughs> as he places a sauce-covered finger onto his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something to his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage of fear. Put yourself between... Alright, internalize my rage. This is just straight up food porn. <laughs> You're not wrong. A lot of the food looks really good. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash and they fall off of your face. <laughs> Which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester. Perhaps forever. Wow, look at their faces. <laughs> Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried brow, you run for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. Yep, that's drama for you. And he won't even ask you to cater for his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the devastating loss, but from the running with the mixer and that small fire. <laughs> <sighs> we should get that checked out. That small fire. I'm fine. Can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill the fr your fryer. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school, incredibly handsome, successful, motivated. Wow, he's kind of pompous there. Well, handsome, sure. Oh, did I say that? I was born that way. I might have said that one. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I was passionate about livestock, but I even failed as a mule handler. The one was especially humiliating. Mules can be so cruel. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and, well, my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together. Which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved that I was going to amount to something. No matter... No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving me the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. Burn off your eyebrows! Warren has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants and will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Mug! Hey! That weird kid. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening, shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before, you prepare for the worst. 
It's a spork monster! I knew he was gonna come back. Oh, he doesn't look mean. Borko? It is! I know that I said I wouldn't come back and after the whole fight to the death thing, maybe you didn't really want to see me anymore, but... I just wanted to say it was wrong to attack you and I apologize. I know what it's like to have a, having to always look over your shoulder. Monster problems, am I right? Aw, oh, thanks, Borko. I'm glad there is no hard feelings. Getting jumped by a giant creeper in the dark creeper. Creature in the dark of night can really rile a person up. I also want to apologize for the way I switched right into attack mode. I know that you're strong and cooking school can put some put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to school. I wasn't always a sport monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were a human once? Well, no. I was a golden retriever. But I was a steel student. Until one day some mean keys with magic spell but because the dark enchantment on me. And I was forever transformed. Why would you transform a good boy? Those are worse of people. Bad curses and spells should not be allowed to be cast on dogs. No, because they're good dogs. Magic spellbook. Precisely. I prepared a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg you. Respect it. You're a powerful chef, and shouldn't rely on such dark magic and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through their sorcery and guile. If you need me, don't fear. I'll be there. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Big Papa, together, I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Oh, snap. A personal invite. You can imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. He's got a freaking rooster. Oh, it's a statue. He's riding a camel. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounded by the things, you start to feel a special bond with him. That's a cool fireplace. Oops. Exited the game. It looks like you have such an exciting life. Or, it looks like you have live an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Not long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching. Never stop working. Never stop imagining. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish that I've been tinkering with, trying to find out the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's, it's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy. Both, perhaps? Now you've got him right where you want him. Should he reveal a new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Hmm, he did tell me his secret recipe, so I'll, I'll tell him mine. Or he told me one ingredient. Don't betray me, Colonel Sanders! You decide that you're ready as you... You're as ready as you ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. Gosh, shit! I keep accidentally misclicking. Uh, something, something. I present to you. Yeah, I was gonna say coleslaw. My original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. Did I just pull that out of my ass? <gasps> just carrying it Oh, <gasps> Magnificent. Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Oh, come on, let's do the lady in the tramp thing. Do you mind if I hold on to that last bite? I'd like to have it around so I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. This sounds like... Princess Mi- or Mononoke music. I don't know. It sounds like Miyazaki music. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to discover more about the film. Ah! Jeez! 
Oh, apparently my mouse was there already. You notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting in a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real. Taxidermy. Must have been important to Colonel Sanders when I was alive when it was alive. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state of bird of the great state of Kentucky. Tap on an item oh yeah. Okay. You'll gaze out the window across the vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then the ghost of student pops up. <laughs> Are you thinking about heading out into the world? On a quest to avenge my death? <laughs> Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? I could just tell you my name right now. It's can't you see I'm in the middle of something? <coughs> You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with a breeze. <laughs> is this an urn? You take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a de nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you read the inscription. It says, here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. This must be where he keeps the secret recipe. You think for a moment, what number is important to Colonel Sanders? Then it draws on you. As soon as you turn the dial to 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside it, you find a single note. Shit. <laughs> Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Hmm. Shit. Oh, he's unlocking, or he's opening things. A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of a comb. A bond of further investigation leads to the hair there. You realize that the hair therein isn't just silver in color, it's actual made of spun silver. <laughs> the photo appears to be Colonel Sanders, except he's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Is he a time traveler? Maybe this is where he discovered one of the secrets herbs and spices. An adorable little boy crawls across the floor. In the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure that this must be Colonel Sanders himself. <laughs> that, or maybe it's the drum sack that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? <laughs> One of the framed pictures shows an old man who looks a, a bit like Colonel Sanders. Standing with a friend, they hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing them. We look closely and see that there's a short inscription. They're not cheersing him. I wonder who my friend Pete is. Scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. Don't be fried chicken. Power tool? Freshly starched cutler? Piece of wood floating in a lake? Summer of 69? No. It's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's reserved deep. Tap on an item to discover more about the colonel. Yeah, I didn't need that. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of signature white suits hanging within. You take one off the hanger and try it on. Oh, I thought that was him coming out. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they mean? Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he has been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until they ask you why you're wearing this dish jacket. Aww. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. Oh crap, the jacket. I forgot to take it off. <laughs> Decide your moment. Now is your moment. Tell him you're cold. To make a big move. What, tell the truth that I was snooping? Sure, tell the truth. You confess. Oh, that's what I confess. Okay, I think I've developed- Oh, this is me. I think I've developed feelings for you. I might be developing feelings for you too, but I'm concerned. I can't let anything in the way of my dreams. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel. Hmm. Yes, Big Papa. 
I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I, th I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk late into the night and trip.